Good morning, everyone. Or I guess when you're watching this, it might not be morning, but for me, it's morning. I just took a shower, and I don't know if you can tell, but we're in a new apartment. Some of you guys might be like, what the heck, since when? Because <laughs> I feel like it kind of just like happened, and I didn't talk a ton about it because I've not been posting as much on YouTube. And I said stuff on stories, but some of you guys said you like haven't seen my stories. But basically, our lease at our other apartment is almost up, and we went ahead and snagged a unit at this new apartment complex that we've really been wanting to live in because when we moved here last summer like we never got to tour apartments and so we kind of just went and moved into our other one without really seeing it and it was great but this place definitely suits us more like i already feel happier and it's just it's so beautiful so i'll definitely show you guys the apartment in this video i'm gonna do like a full-on tour though so i'm not gonna like go through and like do a tour in this vlog that will be like a separate video but before i just like really get going with my day i want to make a coffee in the new place which is so exciting so let's make a coffee so i was not able to vlog make my coffee because i had a camera issue like there's weird lines on it but devin's the best He's over there taking cookies, but he's the best and <laughs> saved the day with the camera setting. So I'm back to not vlog my coffee. Gotta subscribe so you can watch my other coffee montages. But I'm so excited because our fridge here has like the water and ice thing like at the door and there's crushed ice. And if you have a refrigerator that like has that, you should do crushed ice in your coffee because I think it's so good. Pistachio table is here and she's high maintenance. But she's cute. We love her still. And it just looks so adorable. Obviously, we literally just moved a few days ago. So we still have boxes. And we don't even have furniture to put some of the stuff in yet. So that is something exciting. We're going to go to Ikea today in this vlog. And hopefully cop some things. I have an Ikea delivery coming, though, next week, too. So we're not going to buy way too much today. masterpiece is done i wrote as i mean you guys can see but <laughs> spread love and positivity like it's going out of style because i feel like that's a fun one i don't want to put this on like a hoodie or something i just like the rainbows and like stars and everything it's so cute now that i finished lettering and doing that kind of stuff i'm gonna go ahead and get ready for ikea it is not like super warm today so i need to try and dig out some pants <laughs> and trash bags i'll get ready and i'll show you guys my outfit and all of that when i'm done all right, here is my outfit. I'm wearing our smile crew neck that I drew and designed, and we sell these actually. We're out though right now of like every size besides. We have a few smalls, but we're restocking these, so just be watching the site. And then these leggings are from Aerie. They're almost like a faux leathery looking vibe, and they're brown. They remind me of like Lulu's. Like they just like suck you in, and they come up high. I really, really like them. So that is my IKEA outfit. Something just nice and cozy so I can grab furniture if I need to. You know the drill. I'm also very shook. Like, I feel like my hair randomly grew, like, a lot. Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't look longer to you guys, but, like, it recently was pretty short. I was even looking at pictures of, like, Christmas time, and it was way shorter. Like, my bangs have grown a lot. I'm like, what the heck? My hair is growing. Speaking of, I should probably take my vitamins. I'm going to go do that, because maybe that's helping my hair grow. I don't really know. My glasses left little marks on my face, but we got to Ikea safely. I was driving, so it's a miracle. <laughs> no, I did good. I just don't usually drive us very far in Texas. Like, it's still very unfamiliar, and it was like a 45-minute drive with, like, traffic, you know, and, str like, stressful situations, but eating more cookies, so. About to go in and look for some tings. I don't really know how much I'll vlog in there because you guys know I get a little bit awkward in public. But I'll bring my camera. I'm hoping we find some good stuff. I love Ikea. I was just saying to Devin, like, ooh, I wonder if the Ikea cafeteria is open because people love it, like, so much. Because I've, I've had it. It's pretty good. But I've never tried the Swedish meatballs that everyone talks about. And Devin was like, <laughs> he's literally, like, sneering right now. He's like, what? So tell me down in the comments if you have heard that the Ikea Swedish meatballs are worth the hype because I hear about them all the time. It's like Disney World. So right now we're down in like the area where you can like pick out all the little things but we haven't yet gone downstairs to see if they have the furniture we need which makes me nervous because ever since COVID like Ikea is very low on furniture so I'm scared that like the things I like we're gonna get down there and like they don't have them so yes we'll see but so far so good. Yeah. We're getting a dresser. The one we're doing. Where are we Dev? 
tapas. We've never been. Let me know in the comments if you guys have ever tried the iconic chicken sandwich from Popeyes. I remember, what was it, like a year ago or? Yeah, a year or two. When like everyone was getting the sandwich and like comparing it to like the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich and everything and we have yet to have one. And my dad's girlfriend said it's really good. So we're just gonna bite the bullet and try, but we've been in this drive through for so long. Like literally so long. So I don't really know. It's kind of given me taken away from my review my experience yeah. right now but hopefully it's worth you can it just wait for it they really are the suspense and anticipation so we're just kind of jamming to music right now what we're getting chicken sandwich and they have mac and cheese okay i'm the worst vlogger and i did not show you the sandwich but it's done i'm gonna eat in the car and i'll just tell you guys my thoughts good not worth the hype in my opinion it's good. It reminded me of like a Wendy's crispy chicken with like the mayonnaise kind of. And the next thing, they were out of mac and cheese. It was frustrating kind of because I love mac and cheese. So I ordered mashed potatoes and then they gave me beans and rice instead. And we didn't know that and just we didn't get back in the drive thru. So they kind of messed up my order a little bit. And I just feel like it wasn't. Devin's sandwich looked better than mine though. Like I just kind of got the short end of the stick on this Popeyes trip. I feel like I'd be down to try it again. I think next Lemonade time Debbie. I would try the spicy chicken sandwich. The Cajun fries are really good. Though. They reminded us of our high school that we went to. They had fries like that. I heard Five Guys has Cajun fries. Oh. Hi, everybody. We are back from Ikea, and we've just been kind of relaxing. I brought in a good amount of the furniture, but it's just like a Friday night, and I think this whole week has just been so long for us. Like, moving is quite the process. So I'm steeping black tea in here, and then I just frothed up some almond milk and a little bit of vanilla to kind of do like a tea latte. Look at how delicious that foam looks. Okay, now the tea is made. I'm gonna go sit on the rug and look at some of the stuff we got. Okay, I built my lamp, which is good. I had some doubts and I put in the new light bulb, so I need to get the app and see how to make this work and I'll show you guys. It's all out of focus, I'm on the ground. But Devin just informed me that we cannot use the light bulbs. We don't have the Ikea home kit or whatever, so we weren't very smart about thinking about like, how are these light bulbs gonna connect to an app? Like we don't have anything, like a system or anything for them to connect to, so they don't change colors. I might just have to get the Amazon one. So I'm gonna try and return those. Hopefully Ikea's return policy is decent because I really don't feel like driving there right away. So yeah, that's the update on the lights, which kind of stinks. I mean, they work as normal light bulbs, but I just feel like $20 light bulbs is probably, like that's kind of crazy. So I feel like we should just return them. And I wanna try and then get the like Amazon version of them because I do think it'd be so cool to have like the color changing lights. Look at how cute this little lamp is I got from Ikea. It reminds me of a mushroom. And I don't really know where it's gonna go, but it was very inexpensive. And it's actually like glass or whatever. It's so cute. I feel like it's so Pinteresty. It's getting a little bit dark outside. I'm gonna try and build this chair by myself. So we'll see how it goes and if I can sit in it without falling down. So. It works. It's a chair. I built it all by myself. Devin wanted to step in a few times. And I was like, nope. I'm doing this myself. We ate our food. I'm like up here. We ate our food so late and so we kind of never had like our lunch and dinner was like the same because we just ate such a late lunch. So I might just have like a snack soon and kind of see happens but i want to go put this on the chair okay here is my chair with my cushion in the bedroom and obviously it's not going to go in the center of the floor but look at how cute it already looks and i showed these sheets on my instagram stories and i did a swipe up i can link them down below for you guys because i've been wanting sheets that kind of look like the matilda the jerf like vibe of like the pastel just like gingham and i found these ones from target i had to like scour the internet and they're actually kids 
but they had a size for a queen bed and they fit perfect and they're really soft obviously washed them before we used them and it just made them like so soft to wash them also i got this blanket from ikea today it's hard to tell i feel like on camera but it's like a buttery just like light yellow cream color and we actually have the same blanket in blue and it's a pretty inexpensive blanket but it's actually really cozy and i thought once our bed is made we didn't make it this morning it would just like look really nice on here and i think we're gonna get a different rug so definitely just stay tuned because lots of new apartment things are coming for sure but i'm just like loving the aesthetics of what we're doing so far and i'm so grateful devin kind of lets me just like run with whatever i also got these crates these are like the iconic pinterest crates and i got a few more too not even just these ones and they're amazing guys they're fairly inexpensive and they break down actually so they can lay flat and then you can just build them up to be crates and they were so nice for moving and i have plans to like actually obviously put them places and they're so cute and i actually have a 15 percent referral code that you guys can use or like referral link or something like that so i can put that in the description too if you've been wanting these they're so cute basically i'm just trying to have a pinteresty apartment and I cannot wait because in our last apartment, we didn't really decorate much like at all. And so it just feels so good to like actually start to put a little bit of effort and just bring in my own funky little style. We got a lot of frames for like posters. So I'm going to hopefully just get some off Etsy. I want to support some other artists and do that. I just cannot wait to see the place come together. So fun. I'm about to do some dishes and I wanted to show you guys a few of like the kitchen-y type things I picked up. Number one, I could not not get this little colander because it's actually like 10 and it's so cute and I thought it would look amazing in this kitchen just because there's all of like the silver and white and I thought it would be good to wash like veggies and just berries and all that kind of stuff. These are really, really random, but because we make boba all the time, I've been wanting to have something to make like a simple syrup and like be able to like store it. So I thought making simple syrup ahead of time and putting it in this would be great and then we could just like squeeze in the amount we want and like our milk tea and stuff and like that's gonna be handy and i'll use the other one i'm sure for something different and then got some containers to hopefully like store some of my like sugar or other different things i have so much let me show you guys one thing that is a little bit different about this apartment for me is we don't have like a pantry with like a door like an actual pantry which i've never had so it's kind of strange we just have like all of our stuff piled in here and it goes really far back like it's really deep and i'm just not quite used to it so i have all of my baking stuff down here but i thought it would be a little nice to have them in like containers that I can stack because right now there's just like bags and everything just everywhere so I want to try and get that a little bit more organized I tried. gotten a high from building my chair that I thought I would maybe go ahead and try and build my desk but y'all mm, nothing was advanced so Devin said he'll build that for me tomorrow because he's awesome and I'm not going to be doing that it's already like I just blocked my camera it's already like 10 15 which is nuts I don't know where the day went we literally were at Ikea and like driving for so long I feel like so I'm kind of getting on myself I'm like Lily like you still have stuff to unpack but I keep having to run myself I'm like okay we just got keys to the place like a few days ago like it's okay that it's not unpacked and a lot of it I can't even help just because you know furniture doesn't get to us for a little bit and I don't know I can get hard on myself with that stuff but it's okay I have this weekend too I'm trying to not really do much work on weekends it's like a new thing for me that's one thing with having a business and being an entrepreneur like there's always just like this guilt I feel like that I have that I could be working and like growing the business this way or whatever but I also need to have a good marriage and a good life and I don't know there's more to life than work and it's been really great on the weekends just like not really working much at all and relaxing so I think we'll probably work on just like house stuff this weekend and that will make me feel a lot better. I just washed up for bed and I feel all clean but I just like to do a few things out here just to make sure we're ready to go for the night. Number one if i can prop this up because i'm gonna get some more water for my water bottle because i'm not gonna go to bed like right away it's 11 35 which is pretty late but it's like friday night and feeling crazy but i know i'm gonna want more water so 
And then I always start the dishwasher every single night. We always use it. And then I just am in the habit of starting it at night and then we unload it in the morning. And then just turn off all the lights as I'm going in our bedroom. All right, I am now gonna start to just catch up on some of my baking class lessons. I don't think I'll make it through way too much just because it's already 11.40 and I'm tired and I'm sure Deb wants to go to bed soon. So one thing with being married is I got someone else here. So when he's sleeping, I feel bad, like watching things and stuff. So we'll see how much I do, but I wanted to go ahead and wrap up the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. It felt really great to vlog again for you guys. I'm so excited to be in this new space. You guys can probably even tell. I'm just like, I love it. I'm so happy to be here and I'm so grateful for you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you want more moving content. Definitely going to be posting a empty apartment tour. Empty, quote unquote, not empty, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> An apartment tour soon and just make sure to subscribe to stick along because I have lots of fun videos coming up. I'm going to share more about my baking class and future vlogs and hopefully become a super rocking baker. But I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you in my next video.